Our third declaration and our third prayer point is a declaration for those that have honored God with their offerings and their tithes, even in seasons where it has been difficult. You have said to yourself, God, I don't know how this money is going to balance, but I'm going to honor you with my tithes and my offerings. We're going to make an announcement in the corridors of the spirit this morning. We're going to make a prophetic declaration. We are going to confess. We're going to say, I confess that my tithes and my offerings have opened up the floodgates of heaven and released an overflowing blessing to meet every need in my life. I'm going to repeat that and please somebody type it in the comment section. I confess that my tithes and my offerings have opened up the floodgates of heaven and released an overflowing blessing to meet every need in my life. This is a confession for those that have been offering. You have been going out of your way to offer, even in your limitation. You have been going out of your way to, 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 to tithe, even with your limited finances. You have said, God, I'm going to honor you. I am going to, I am going to continue to honor you. I am going to trust that you are not a man that you should lie. Neither are you a respecter of man. I, I am going to be faithful. I am going to be faithful in my finances because I believe that he that promised is faithful. I want you to begin to lift up your voice and say, Father, I'm placing a demand on your word. You say that if I offer, you say that if I pay my tithe, you would open up the windows of heaven. I am here to place a demand on your word. I am here on this virtual portal of prayer to place a demand on your word. We have come to place a demand on your word. Come on, somebody. I need somebody to place a demand on the word of God. I want you to say, God, you are not a man that you would lie to me. Ay, 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 ay. You are not a man that you would lie to me. And your word never returns to you void, but it establishes and accomplishes that which you have sent it on assignment to establish. I need somebody to place a demand on the word of God today. I want you to say, God, you gave the word. <laughs> I didn't fabricate this word. It's not a word that I've, I've fabricated out of my own desires. It is a promise in scripture. And so, Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ this morning, placing a demand in the courtroom of heaven. We begin to declare that according to your biblical promises, those that are generous in their giving, those that offer, and those that tithe, your word says that this is a spiritual principle, and it opens up it is a key that unlocks the floodgates of heaven father in the name of jesus i pray in jesus mighty name this morning for those that have never experienced a floodgate in their finances for those that have never encountered the supernatural in their finances for those that have never met your provision in a profound way in their finances those that have never experienced the gushing of a floodgate in their finances those that have been living in limitation those that have been living in little, those that have been living in lack, those that have been grappling to make ends meet, those that have been living in deficiency, those that have been living in insufficiency, today we place a demand on your word. We have come to remind you of your promises in the word. We have come to remind you that shortage is not our portion. We have come to remind you that shortfalls are not our portion. We have come to remind you that scarcity and poverty is not our portion. Because we are, we are tithers and offerers. Your word says that you open up a floodgate in heaven. And you release a blessing into overflow. Father, this morning we place a demand on the word of God. And we declare that those that have never experienced a gushing floodgate. That they, will, they are going to begin to experience a gushing floodgate of financial blessing. In the name of Jesus. We speak a word of blessing over their finances. That it is not only bread for the eater but it is going to become seed for the sower right now this morning father we announce in the corridors of the spirit that you are raising up people that are going to stand as investors that are going to stand as those that can multiply their salaries they are going to stand as those that have uh, income streams multiple income streams why because 
You have opened up the floodgates of heaven and released an overflowing blessing that is meeting all of their needs in the matchless name of Jesus. I pray for somebody on this broadcast that has never encountered the privilege of owning a side hustle, that has never encountered the privilege of owning an additional stream of income. Right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for wisdom from on high, wisdom from above to descend on the top of their heads that they are going to release receive ideas, supernatural, witty ideas from heaven on how to subsidize their salaries in the name of Jesus, on how to build a business in the name of Jesus, on how to create an additional stream of income in the name of Jesus. Because according to your word, you open up a floodgate from heaven and you pour out pour out a blessing so heavy that it overflows, that we will not have room to contain it. I break them out of the yoke of limitation. I break them out of the yoke of deficiency. I, I break them out of the yoke of insufficiency this morning. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Overflow shall be their portion. In the matchless name of Jesus. And we speak a word of blessing over their salary. That it is only but a seed. It is the beginning of great things. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is the beginning of multiplication. It is the beginning of investments. It is the beginning of increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need somebody to thank the Lord this morning. Lord, I thank you for an open floodgate in my finances. Lord, I thank you. I thank you this morning that out of Norway, Financial increase is meeting with me in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for overflow. I thank you for a new season in my life called overflow. I thank you for a new season in my life called overflow. Your word says I won't have enough room to contain the, the financial blessing. And so, Father, I receive it this morning. May I live in a season known as overflow in Jesus mighty and wonderful name.